What's going on, speech students? My name is Mr. Matthews. I'll be your professor this uh, semester, the next 16 weeks. I know all of you are beyond excited to be in speech. And you may be wondering, as we all probably do, why? Why am I in speech? What is the purpose of this class? You probably don't plan on giving any presentations anytime soon, or maybe have no plans to stand in front of a large group of people and relay information to them. So what's the purpose of all of this? And, you know, I'm not offended by that question. Uh, I think it's a good question, but I think um, sometimes we don't realize how important communication is. We don't think about speaking as communicating. We don't think about the goal of communicating is to be understood. It's to share information in such a way, organized, clear, vulnerable, relatable, in such a way that when people hear what we're saying, they understand what we're saying. That we actually communicate for the sake of being understood. And uh, this is a problem, right? Most of us communicate without thinking about the person we're communicating to. That's the reality. Most of us say and think whatever it is we want to say uh, and it's whatever it is floating around our head with no real regard to whether or not it makes any sense, whether or not it's clear or organized, whether or not we really are communicating anything at all, whether or not it's kind, whether or not it's going to make somebody feel encouraged or make them feel down. Our communication has a tremendous amount of power. The words you speak have a tremendous amount of power. You're going to do one of two things when you speak. Um, you're going to either speak life into someone or you're going to speak life out of someone. And so I think realizing how much power our communication has is one of the goals of this class, all right? My mother, back a couple of months ago, during the month of April, was diagnosed with uh, ovarian cancer. So we are having to meet with all kinds of medical professionals, doctors, nurses, and some of them were very kind, very thoughtful. The way they communicated was full of love and kindness and concern. And when somebody communicates with you that way, it makes you feel comforted. It makes you feel a little less fearful just by the way they're speaking. On the other hand, you had some doctors and nurses who came in and were very short, didn't want to answer any questions really, seemed like they were in a hurry, weren't very kind, weren't very thoughtful. And those doctors and nurses made us feel a little anxious and a little more worried. So this is just one example of how powerful speech and communication is. Think about a time when you had a conversation with somebody and how it left you feeling really down, really, really sad. And it felt heavy all day. Maybe it was a rumor going around about you. Maybe somebody just said something really ugly to your face. Maybe you got an ugly message, you know, on social media. Those things feel heavy and it makes life feel dark in some ways. On the flip side, when somebody says something really nice, somebody stops you in the hallway and says, hey, you look really nice today. 
or somebody just compliments you on on something or somebody is just really kind when they speak to you a waiter or a waitress or the cashier at a convenience store when they're really nice and they're kind and they're smiling that makes us feel a type of way too right it encourages us it makes us feel better it makes us feel like things should feel like life is good so Everything we're doing in speech this semester is with this central idea that we have a voice and that that voice has a lot of power, that our words have a lot of power. So the idea is to learn how to leverage that voice, or first it's to really come to the realization just how powerful your voice is. And it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter where you came from, how wealthy or poor your family is, or what kind of status you have or job you have. It doesn't matter. All of you wields this incredible amount of power just in your voice, in the power and possibility of what your words can do. Your words can tear people down and your words can build people up. And I don't just mean other people. I mean also us. The things that we say about ourselves. The things that the words in our head that we think about ourselves when we look in the mirror. Or we, you know, catch our reflection in, in, in the glass or whatever it may be. If we're just walking and thinking about, you know, ourselves. What kind of words are we using? We can, we can tear ourselves down. Some of us are our own worst enemy. So throughout this semester, we're going to explore all of this. We're going to explore the power of speech, the power of communication. We're going to talk about how to tell a story. We're going to talk about how to use humor. We're going to learn how to do some ad-libbing, which is just sort of, you know, sometimes we forget what to say, so we have to fill in the blanks there. We're going to do some really interesting things that might feel a little bit challenging. You know, uh, we're going to do a spoken word poem. But everything that we do is going to be to do a few things. One, to help us realize how powerful our voice is and how powerful our words are. And then two, to teach us how to use that voice. All right. To how to speak a certain way, how to speak clearly how to use tone, how to slow down and speed up and when and why to do these things. So we're going to learn some really practical things as well. So two different things here. We want to learn, you know, we want to leave this class understanding the power of our voice and the power of our communication. And two, we want to leave this class knowing how to use and harness and leverage that power. All right. So everything that we do is going to fall into to those categories. So you're going to be giving speeches uh, primarily every speech since these classes are online. You're going to be just making videos much like this video that I have made here using a phone or whatever device you would like to use. And then you're going to upload the video to YouTube and then you're going to post the link into the discussion board. That's what you'll do for all the videos. If you would like to set your videos to private on YouTube because you don't want anybody else to see them, that's fine. Just make sure that in the discussion board, you provide the password because the class does need to watch them and as do I. We're going to also be looking at some other speeches. We're going to be watching some other people who have, you know, who've given some really powerful speeches and try to figure out what about this speech was so powerful. And I don't just mean, you know, your Martin Luther King type speeches, though there's some incredible speeches that he's given. And we are absolutely going to look at some of those. But even scenes in a movie, think about uh, the pursuit of happiness. There's a really great scene when the main character, Will Smith, I forget his, his name in the movie, He's sitting at the table trying to get this job and he gives a two to three minute monologue, a speech about why he deserves this job. And it's excellent. 
It's persuasive. It's moving. It's vulnerable. It's a really, really great example of how powerful story can be. And we're going to learn about story and how to tell a story. And, you know, story has a certain type of structure that it needs to follow. And so, but we're going to be looking at several other speeches and we're going to be analyzing those speeches. And what that means is, is that we're going to try to break them down to figure out what made them so effective. You know, to analyze something means to take, take the whole piece and then break it down as best we can and look at the individual pieces. So if we look at a, a, a speech by Martin Luther King and we get to the end of it, we all agree, wow, that was an incredible speech, right? We, we know it was just a great speech. Well, then we begin to analyze what made it a great speech. Well, we might say that he had really great body language. He was open to the audience, right? His body was open to the audience. He used his voice. He used pause and pitch and tone really, really well. So it felt really dramatic. He was an excellent storyteller. And we felt those stories really well. So we might say things like that. Instead of just saying it was a great speech, the process of analyzing is looking closely at each part of the speech to try to understand why the speech was so effective. And by watching some of these speeches and by watching some of these conversations and movie clips, each time we engage in this process, hopefully we take something from it. We learn something about what it means to communicate effectively, to communicate clearly, and to communicate in such a way that really is going to encourage people or in certain situations, like if we're, you know, trying to get a point across or in an argument, and I don't mean a uh, angry argument, just a disagreement, we need to speak clearly and make sure there is no anger in our voice because sometimes anger just washes away the true nature of what we're trying to communicate. So we're going to talk about all of these things and we're going to try to figure out how really to be the best version of ourselves because here's the reality. Communicating is central to the human experience. All of us obviously are human. All of us have hopes and dreams. All of us have family. We have friends. We either have a significant other or we're hoping to one day have a significant other. We have bosses. We have employees. We have potential investors. We have potential in, in supporters and ideas that we have. We have something we're trying to promote. So all of these things require healthy relationships, selling something, people knowing who you are, all of them require clear, effective, and organized communication. And that's what I want for you. I hope that by the end of this class, you are a better version of yourself, that you're more effective in communicating, that you're a little bit more comfortable in communicating. It's not always easy, right? Because communicating requires us to be a little bit vulnerable. And that means to lower our shields to be honest about things that we're dealing with and feeling and to essentially open ourselves up to people so that they can connect with us on a deeper level. But this is what we want, right? Because we want people to hear us. We want people to understand what it is we are saying. But in order to do that, we have to make sure that we're being clear and that we're saying what we mean and that we're speaking in such a way that is understandable. So this semester, we're not gonna do a lot of presentation type speeches. Now the last two is an informative speech and a persuasive speech. Those are uh, your two common type speeches we're gonna do and those are gonna be more of your presentation type speeches. Uh, but other than that, we're just going to do other little exercises that'll be speeches, but different types of exercises, speaking exercises that, you know, will get us out of our comfort zone and challenge us to think about speaking and communicating in a different way. So I'm really excited uh, to be here 
with each one of you. I always love a new semester. I love the opportunity to get to know each one of you. And I want you to know that as your professor, I'm here to serve you and to help you get to where it is you wanna go. But I'm also here to challenge you because you can't grow unless you're challenged, right? If you go to the gym and it doesn't hurt, then you're not being challenged and you're not growing, right? So in every story, the character has to overcome something to get what they want. And in the process of overcoming something, they become a better version of themselves, mentally, emotionally, physically sometimes. Learning how to overcome whatever ourselves, learning how to overcome outside things, it requires us to rise to the occasion. And so I am gonna challenge you, but the good thing is, is that you have what it takes, and by the end of this class, you will be a better version of yourself. So keep going. Do your best. Don't give up. If you need anything, let me know. Uh, so welcome to week one of speech. Uh, can't wait to get started with each one of you. Bye-bye.